I want to take you off the beaten path today. We're going to head out to Laie on Oahu. There's an island or an islet just off the coast called Moku Aoia, or commonly referred to as Goat Island. It's a few hundred feet off the coastline. It's pretty special. It's a bird sanctuary. There's a pretty secluded bay and beach out there. So yeah, I want to show it to you. Let's go take a look. So I recommend before you make your crossing to Moku Aoia, Goat Island, that you check the tide charts. You're all crossing through the ocean and I've seen people crossing with the waves pretty high up above their waist, could be windy. You just wanna be safe, any type of conditions when you're outside in nature. So today the tide charts actually showed a negative tide <clears throat> and that's why I'm here, because I know it'll be extra easy. So if you can do that as well, it was a full moon recently. so. A little bit bigger swings so let's check out the conditions and let's see how safe that crossing is going to be and then we'll attempt it and we'll get out to Mokuaoia Goat Island and see what it has to show us today So I'm six foot two, and you can see from the shots that that water probably came up to my knees, so not very high. But remember, that's an extra low tide. I've seen people up to their chest. Uh, took me about five, maybe four minutes to cross, nothing major. So let's check out the island. So Mokuaoia is home to 16 different native plants and also a breeding ground and nesting area for the wedge-tailed shearwater, pretty much in the center of the island. The other thing this place is home to is one of the most deserted beaches on Oahu. If you're willing to head out from the tourist areas and do a little adventuring, you can find a beach just like this. As you circle around this island, you're going to come across a lot more tide pools and lava, which is extremely sharp, so to be careful. There's a lot of ocean life to see out here, so take your time and enjoy it. You're going to notice that along the path in the center of the island, there's a lot of driftwood. This kind of marks the area. Don't go beyond this. This is an area to stay out of. And we can help protect the uh, native species here. This trail is uh, definitely fully exposed uh, everywhere on the island. There's no shade at all, uh, no large trees, so you definitely want to be protected for that. Definitely some good footwear. I actually wore kind of like hiking shoes that are good for water. And I think they did better than the reef walker, the kind of socks. Those are a lot softer. These are stiffer and they kind of drain the water a lot better. So if you've got sensitive feet or you're worried about that, you can put on shoes just like me. It'll work just fine. Just remember to come during low tide. So there it is, Moku Aoia, commonly called Goat Island. 
enjoy it, respect it, and take care of it. I enjoyed sharing this special place with you. I'll see you guys on the trails.